This 4th of July weekend found a spike in the number of coronavirus cases. The beaches were closed with a one-day notice in Carpinteria and other SoCal cities. One block of Linden Avenue had a temporary setup. We had a committee that thought it'd be a good idea, given the constraints on restaurants, to have a space where people could safely dine um, at social distance. And uh, it looks like a lot of tourists have not come into town today. Is, is that a success? Yeah, I think word has gotten out. A lot of folks have come into town and seen that the beach is closed and uh, either turned away or just spent the day here and then left. So, uh, yeah, we're pleased with that, that the numbers are down. It was very nice of them to shut it all down so we could walk on the beach without having to have any crowds. I appreciate it. So it's just walking on the beach, not sitting on the beach. No one's used the tables, from what I can see. It's very successful that no one's there. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, yes. that's very, yeah, we scared enough. I think the sign on the freeway telling people the beaches are closed probably did more than anything. Yeah. It scared everybody away. Yeah, yeah the, the response to the uh, pandemic does take uh, kind of different kind of work. The staff at the office are half working at home, half working at, uh, at City Hall, and it's a different uh, challenge for, for uh, meeting customer needs. And then our public works crew has helped out with traffic control for food distribution, getting signs up for parking control to try to discourage crowding at the beach and doing that on the fly. You know, word of the beach closure only came out on Thursday, so immediately at 3.30 they kicked into action and got signs up about the beach closure. Um, Leah uh, Boyd, who does uh, um, work for us on communications, and Mimi Adello and uh, Aaron Maker, all got word out, help get word out over social media, get signs made, all that. So it's just, it's a different kind of work. It changes every week. Uh, it seems like there's a new, new crisis every week or a new change in what we do every week. And I'm just really proud of our staff. Um, we also have a council that's been fantastic helping out. They have some committees formed uh, with community members, a communications committee and a recovery committee. They created a grant program and other programs to help businesses restart and reopen safely. So it's just been a wonderful community effort. How's the cemetery been affected? Uh, it's been affected in a way that uh, we have to limit the amount of people we can have at a funeral. But we're still having funerals out there because, you know, the churches have been closed. So the families, you lose somebody, they can't even have a church service. So we're like their last hope to even have some small family get together and make it the best of a bad situation.